I'm James Heaney, and this is Brief News Brief. Last week, Donald Trump picked Andrew Putzer as his Secretary of Labor. Andrew is the Chief Executive Officer of CKE Restaurants. It's Hardee's and Carl's Jr.'s. Uh, he's also famous for his decade-long ad campaign for Carl's Jr., where girls in scantily clad clothes are seen devouring giant burgers. He says, I like beautiful women eating burgers in bikinis. I think it's very American. He is also interested in seeing the robot labor force move into the place of the human labor force. The war against the machines is beginning. He believes machines are, and I'm quoting, always polite. They always upsell. They never take a vacation. They never show up late. There's never a slip and fall or age and sex or race discrimination case. You can tell this man looks toward the future. In 2012, Putzer made $4.4 million. That's a full 291 times more than the average food worker. He's paid more in one day than his employees make in an entire year working at his restaurant chains. He, his critics point out that this wage disparity keeps him out of touch with workers' push for basic rights such as overtime pay, health care benefits, sick days, minimum wage requirements. And now he's going to be Secretary of Labor. The Department of Labor is the federal agency responsible for ensuring workplace safety, wage and hour standards, unemployment insurance benefits. The Labor Department's stated mission is to foster, promote, and develop the welfare of wage earners of the United States and to improve their working conditions and advance their opportunities for profitable employment. Putzer has been quoted saying that serving in Trump's administration is going to be, and this is a quote, the most fun you can have with your clothes on. Ugh. In order to get the job, he's required to undergo Senate state confirmation hearings. So we'll see if he ends up getting picked up. Will Trump accept the report of the CIA that Russia was involved and that their fingerprint was on this election? The CIA has concluded on Friday that Russia intervened in the 2016 election to help Donald Trump win the presidency. The individuals who provided information to WikiLeaks are people with connections to the Russian government, and they are part of an overall effort to hurt Clinton and therefore help Trump. Immediately after this came out, Trump responded, knocking the CIA for their most embarrassing false intelligence in the history of their agency, the lack of weapons of mass destruction. The Trump transition team is accusing the intelligence agency of playing partisan politics and dwelling on this Russian intervention as an effort to displace the blame for this Clinton upset. Still, Despite the denial on the Trump team, there's a bipartisan effort coalescing around the intelligence to investigate further the Russians hacking and tampering with American politics, but keep it on the DL. Shh, shh, shh. Tons of pot are grown in Albania. This tiny former Soviet satellite across the Adriatic from the heel of Italy's boot harbors a flourishing, albeit felonous, farming faction. Poor peasants are latching on to this budding enterprise. In one village of 400,000, almost every one grows weed. They hire pickers and guards, which is a boon to a country with a 16% unemployment rate. Most of the crop is exported for high profits to Italy and Greece. Now there's local cops, but they're bribed. But then the feds come in and flatten fields and seize shipments. Farmers just want a fair shake. They don't want to end up in the joint. <laughs> It's poll tally time. First of all, is this the real life or is it fantasy? Thank God, it's fantasy. We almost ended up in the matrix here. There's a fine line to being part of the machine or being in a fantasy. And secondly, what's inside of the secret sauce? Turns out the prime ingredients are mayo, mustard, and stuff. And finally, do you like our new background? Yeah, yeah you do. The truth is, it used to be red, and somebody was like, it hurts my eyes. We changed it. We're listening. This isn't my news show. This is your news show. So what you want to see, we're going to try to make it work. And try to make it work like this brand new brief news brief logo that looks super good. You see that resemblance? Finally, 
the new pool so that you can practice making your voice heard. If you don't use your voice, you'll lose your voice. So some important questions. What won't Meatloaf do for love? Because we all know he would do anything for love, but he can't do that. What is that? And next, do you care that the Russians are tampering with American politics? I don't care. I don't, no, no big deal. I say no harm, no foul, Russia. And finally, do you want to order fast food from a robot? Yeah.